Hi there, I'm Phil Healy, the Public Access Coordinator for NORCAM, that's North Reading's Public Access Station. And uh, I'm here with a very special guest, Art Grossman, uh, the founder of the North Reading Community Coffee House, and also uh, one of the founders of uh, the Performing Artist Series, which yep. we're here to talk about today. Yep. And also you're on the uh, North Reading uh, Friends of the... I'm on the, now I'm on the board of the Friends of the Flint Memorial Library, I'm the treasurer uh, for now, and yeah. you know, hopefully uh, another Maybe this term, another term, we'll see how it goes. No, that's great. They're lucky to have you. And uh, the Thank friends you. are great. They do a lot. Actually, the friends are behind this, uh, yes, aren't they? Yes, yes, What What I really want to talk about today, as you mentioned, is the, um, is the Performing Artist Series, the, what, we, what I'm calling the 2020 season oh, you know, right, of, there the, uh, of the um, Performing Artist Series. And I'd like, like to just give a little background, sort of set the table, and then go into the specifics of... Uh, of 2020. For, for people uh, that may not know, uh, is that in, in 2018, uh, the Friends of the Flint Memorial Library and I uh, introduced what we call the Performing Artist Series. Uh, and we did that, like with the Coffee House, to help raise funds to support the various programs run by the library. The Performing Artist Series is in addition to the monthly North Reading Community Coffee House, which has been running for the be four years in April, and has been very successful in its own right by providing wonderful entertainment for people and a place for people to perform, uh, a great evening's entertainment, uh, and, as well as raising money through donations and the sales of refreshments, uh, and that money goes. Uh, to the friends of the library, and uh, through those donations, sales of refreshments, the monies to the friends of the library, uh, we help support the various programs that the uh, library uh, puts on. Uh, in in a town environment, cash is always tight, yeah. and so anything we can do to to help, we do. Um, so. We thought with the Performing Artist Series that by bringing in uh, what I call professional level entertainment several times a year, we'd be able to do what we do with the coffee house and more. Uh, these events by library rules and regulations are funded through suggested donations. Now this is a very interesting and uh, unique yeah, we, take we, on it. I do we, like this. We can't, we can't sell tickets. That's yeah. just the rule. So we do a, a, usually it's a suggested donation of $15 and a portion of that $15 goes to the musicians, portion goes to the friends of the library. And people can always give more if they feel uh, optimal. Yeah, you're suggested not going to turn them down. Yeah. If someone comes in with a million dollars, we won't send them away. <laughs> well, but no, if someone wants to really support uh, yep. The Performing Arts Center, they come in, yep. know, give you a 20, yep. and it goes a long way. Yeah, uh, and, and, and some people do. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, think, I think the other side of that is, is that we really want people to come to these events. Yeah. So it's a suggested donation. You know, times are tough for some people. We understand that. If, if you can't do the $15, if you can't do anything, that's yeah. fine. We want you to come to the event. You'll have a great time. And it's the most important thing is for people to come. Yeah. Uh, we have, um, we have a, a, a good program uh, this year, uh, and I'll get to that in a second. But yeah. I, again, I just want to take a second to, for people who may not know, tell a little bit about yeah. who, the friends of the, who, the, who the friends of the Flint Memorial Library are. Uh, first of all, uh, the, I'll just use the term friends because it's a long phrase every yeah. time I see it. The <laughs> friends, friends are yeah. a, a nonprofit, a 5013C a corporation, which means that anybody who uh, donates money to them or donates anything, uh, it's tax deductible. Yeah. Um, so the, the programs, uh, the programs, the, the the friends promote use the library as a technical, educational, and cultural center. Um, to supplement this effort, the Friends conduct fundraisers and solicit donations. All programs sponsored by uh, the Flint Memorial Library and the Friends are free of charge to the public, yet most of the programs are costly. So the, the Friends' goal is to increase support from as many individuals and businesses uh, as possible to increase the availability of the programs that uh, are offered. 
that donation that may be made uh, could allow the library to present a specific program or additional items such as books or museum passes, equipment or other services. So the Friends do a lot in conjunction with a, a library staff that works very hard uh, to do a tremendous amount of good for the community. And to the extent that we can help, uh, you know, through the coffee house, through the Performing Artists Series, uh, we're, we're happy to do it. Yeah, it, it, to it, ease the burden. It, yeah, yeah, ease the burden. It supports the Friends. And, it, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a real good event. Uh, a series of events for the community. The community seems to really enjoy no, it. No, it's been very successful and we've been lucky enough to, to cover for NORCAM a couple of times and oh. it's, always, it's, all, it's always in rotation what we played um, and it's exciting to have just stuff going on yes. uh, in the, at the library because the library, it's like a pub. It really yeah. is like a nice pub. We, it, you know, it, we do a movie a month there. Yep. I know other program, a lot of other programs happen there but it's, like, it's a great space. Yep. They, they do a lot of, there are a lot of great activities there. Yeah. And uh, Sharon Kelleher and her staff, they, oh, do, a, they do a great job yeah. of providing a lot of good, a lot of good events, a lot of good things for the community. And they care. They want to get people in there. There's no question. Yeah. No question about that. So let me move to the 2020 season uh, of the uh, Performing Artist Series. We have three very talented and entertaining uh, performances lined up for 2020. Uh, we start with Rupert Waits on Saturday, April 11th, followed by Wild Maple on Saturday, June 6th, and finally Don White on Saturday, August 29. Uh, all shows, again, are in the activity room of the Flip Memorial Library, located at 147 Park Street in North Reading. I mentioned the address. I know, I know a lot of the townspeople know where it yeah. is, but. But these events are open not just to the town people, but surrounding communities. And yeah. some people may want to take advantage of it and may, and may not know where no, it is. No, and just like your community coffee house, a lot of people come from out of town. They do. To they do. Uh, either listen in or perform. And it seems like this is kind of the thing where people can network as well. Yep. They meet yep. uh, other fellow artists and yep. just Absolutely. have a good time. And, yeah. and, the, and the performers love meeting the audiences. Yeah. So, um, all shows start at 7.30. The doors open at 6.30. Uh, there's plenty of parking in the, in the activity room, in the library parking lot. And as I, as I mentioned before, there's a suggested donation of $15. Uh, mm -hmm. And we say suggested again because the important thing is we want to share the wonderful performers that come with as many people in North Reading and surrounding communities as possible. We don't want the money to be an issue. We want you to come. So if you, got, if you can do the donation, great. If you can't, come anyway. Lastly, and, and certainly not least, uh, we want to thank some sponsors who, uh, sponsors who have been very supportive of the Performing Artist Series. Uh, they, they, make, they make it possible. It would be, it would be diff very difficult without them. And uh, we have support, so f as of now, from a Reading Cooperative Bank, the Savings Bank, Winter Hill Bank, uh, Heavenly Donuts, and Moynihan Lumber. They've been great. Uh, they, they, uh, we really do appreciate their support. We're always looking for more sponsors, so if anybody out there wants to sponsor the Performing Artist Series, uh, I'll give you some contact information for me a, a little later on in, the, in, in this interview. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I would be, I'm not doing this because Phil's here, but uh, we really have to give an additional thank you to both Phil and his team here at NORCAM who've done a, a great job promoting the Performing Artist Series and the Coffee House. They video virtually every event we do uh, for a broadcast on, the lo on, on NORCAP local cable channels, and uh, they eventually put them on YouTube. And if anybody wants to see what the Coffee House and the Performing Artist Series that we've done are about, uh, just go to YouTube and type in North Reading Community Coffee House, and there'll be a Ton of, There's a ton of them. Ton, ton of them out there you can look at. Well, it's a, uh, just to cut in, I apologize, but uh, it's been our pleasure, and you provide us with content, and you provide, more importantly, the town with something to do. And so we're there to help promote something that, you know, that's what we're all about here. Just, yep. uh, you know, and that's why you're here today. It's, but thank it's, you. It's I, been we great. appreciate the, yeah. And I also, I also need to thank Maureen Doherty at the North Reading Transcript. She has been a terrific supporter of what we're doing. Uh, she, do, she does her best to cover events that we do. 
She's, uh, she and her staff have done interviews uh, with upcoming performers. Uh, she always has something uh, in, in the transcript about upcoming events. Uh, you know, it, you can't do this by yourself, and Maureen has been terrific. I don't know if she's going to see this. It doesn't I'll, matter. I'll let, she's yeah. been terrific. No, Maureen, and I'll second that. Maureen is, a, fan, a, a fantastic human being. Uh, B, she cares so much about this community. She grew up in this community. Not to say that when you grow up in a community that makes you care more about, but she has a deep-rooted interest in it. Yes. And she, lo I mean, she's kind of a one-woman band. There are other people who yes. work at the transcript, but she does a lot of the foot. Uh, uh, footwork, yes. or the you know the she, foot soldiering. She she's terrific. She's yeah. everywhere. She, I, yeah, I, she's I everywhere. You, sometimes I think she's more than one. Yeah, person, but she's a twin sister. She by look. Yeah, exactly. She by locate. No, it's yeah, it's an odd. They're triplets somewhere. And yeah, just I like know. She's, she's, yeah. She's, she's terrific. Oh yeah. So getting to the specifics, the uh, the entertainment. I think I as I mentioned, Rupert waits. Uh, Rupert um, will be there on April eleventh. Uh, we've had a number of. Uh, terrific performers in the almost two years we've been doing the Performing Artist Series. Rupert is not only one of the best we had, but he's also the first to come back by popular demand for a second performance. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah he's terrific. That's great. He's an exceptional singer, songwriter, and guitarist. He's also very engaging uh, with his audiences, a real storyteller through mm -hmm. his songs. He's the whole package, everything you look for in a performer. If you missed Rupert the first time, please do yourself a favor and come and see him on Saturday, April 11th. You'll be thoroughly entertained. And if you'd like to learn more or see some video about Rupert, you can go to his website at rupertwaitsmusic.com. Terrific. Try to get out and see him on April, April 11th. Um, yeah, and as much as... Uh, we love uh, touting that we have all this stuff online on our YouTube page or even on our channel. It, it's another thing entirely to be there and experience Absolutely. the performance in person. Because yep. even you'll be, like you said, you'll be able to, he's very, accept, um, uh, what's the word, he's very he's open, enga he's engaging. engaging, thank he's very you. very engaging yeah. with his audience. audience. Yeah, no, right. it's, and that's, it means a lot. And yeah. it's, it's uh, really cool, especially for people of all ages. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I, I guarantee you'll have a good time, and with and I should say that with all of these uh, performances, even if you don't like the entertainment, we have great desserts. <laughs> That's true. And, actually, and you'll, yeah. you'll you'll have a wonderful time mm. eating our delicious desserts, but you'll love the entertainment as well. Anyway, the next the next group we have coming uh, on June sixth is a, is a, a trio. Uh, it's a band called Wild Maple. Um, as with many of the performers that I consider for the, uh, excuse me, for the Performing Artist Series, uh, I first saw them, I saw Wild Maple at an open mic or some other event, which I can't really recall, uh, but I did, I saw them at some event and uh, I did reach out to them. Uh, and uh, I, I, well, I can't remember open mic, I go to so many events I can't remember. Anyway, I saw Wild Maple. And I, I got them to come to the monthly coffee house to perform. And after they performed, I knew I wanted to get them for the Performing Artist Series. Uh, in fact, I wanted to get them for last year's season, but we couldn't make our calendars work. Mm. So this year, we were able to find a date, as I said, Saturday, June 6th, uh, to have them for our 2020 season. I'm really excited about their appearance. Uh, as I said, uh, Wild Maple is composed of three very talented musicians, Gary Dolinsky on guitar and mandolin, Trish DiCaprio on fiddle, and Steve Strait on bass. Uh, taking from their website, because they say it better than I can, Wild Maple's uh, lively, acoustic, original sound is woven from a wide variety of musical influences, Americana, blues, folk, rock and classical. Every performance weaves a healthy dose of relaxed fun, humor, and interaction with the audience. They really are terrific. They, it, it's, you'll really enjoy them. If you want to check them out, you can go to their website, wildmapleband.com, uh, and see what you think. But I, I hope you come out and, and give them a listen. They're really good. Oh, they sound pretty great, actually. They're, they're yeah. They really are. They, and they, they, which uh, community coffee house did they show up? I don't, I don't remember the month. It was sometime last, last year. Last year, yeah. But it was, it was clear that, you know, they, yeah. they, 
uh, they were somebody that I definitely wanted to get. I, I wish That's I could awesome. have done last year. Yeah, yeah. no, well, I know. It's, it's great now they were able to, they're able to come, but unfortunately, yeah, yeah. can be a part of it, but cool. Couldn't yeah. do it, but now they'll be there this year. It'll be nice. Good summer treat. Yep. Uh, the last one we have for this year, uh, Don White. Don White, uh, some of you may know, is, uh, is really one of a kind. Uh, he's been, uh, he's a unique entertainer been doing this for a long time. Uh, just to give you some background on Don, he's an award-winning singer-songwriter, comedian, and author, and a storyteller. He's been bringing audience to laughter and tears for 30 years. I think it's, I think it's a little old. I think it's probably closer to 35 now. Uh, he's, he's released many CDs. He's had many awards. He's opened for many uh, people are played with many people, such as Arlo Guthrie, Richie Havens, Loudon, Ray, uh, Loudon Wainwright III, oh, wow. Taj Mahal. He was on a bill with David Bromberg. Uh, he goes all over the country. He goes to the National Storytelling Festivals. I mean, he's really, he's something else. He's been doing this for a long time. I see Don often uh, in his shows, or we, we, go to a, we go to the same open mic in, at the Walnut Street Cafe in Lynn periodically, mm -hmm. and, he, and he's always there. Um, Don has quite the following in this area. As I said, he's from Lynn. He still lives there, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so this is one I, I can almost guarantee if it's not a sellout, it's going to be close. And if you're interested, you should get there early if you want a seat. The doors open at 630. Uh, it'll be a terrific show. Don's shows always are. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be crowded. Uh, there's almost no doubt in my mind. And if you want to learn more about Don, if you haven't don't know about him, uh, donwhite.net, you can learn more about Don. But do try to come out cool. and see him. Yep. Well, that, that sounds pretty awesome, actually. Yep. Yeah. Now, uh, just uh, general information. You know, obviously, I'm pretty excited about the 2020 season. Mm -hmm. But if you have any questions or need more information, uh, please contact me, Art Grossman. And I can be contacted at uh, NR Coffee House, North Reading Coffee House, NR Coffee House at gmail.com. Or you can call me anytime at 617 592 4398. I welcome the phone calls. Uh, I'd love to l learn about the interest in the community to, to the things we're doing. So please contact me if you need to. And there's also the Facebook page, right? I do. I have a Facebook page for the North Reading Community Coffee House. I'm not a Facebook expert, but I do the best I can. <laughs> oh, sure. Getting the information out there, uh, and uh, yes, you can you can do that. You, you can go to YouTube. You you can you can learn about us. There's yeah. stuff in the transcript all the time. Yeah. So whatever whatever means you use, uh, reach out to us if you mm -hmm. want to. I just want to conclude. Um, I, I think I would be remiss if I didn't say something about the. Uh, ongoing story of the day, the coronavirus. Uh, uh, we're learning more about it every day, as you all know, as, as information becomes available. We are, we are very mindful about what's going on and how it uh, may impact uh, both the Performing Artist Series and the Monthly Coffee House. In fact, and I'm not sure when this is going to actually air, mm. but uh, today is March 11th. Uh, last night, we found out that the town administrator has canceled all activities in the uh, activity room of the library through the end of the month of March, so we had to cancel uh, mm -hmm. the March coffee house. Uh, we don't know what this means going forward. Obviously, nobody does. Hopefully, this will, we will get through the, the tough times of this in the not-too-distant future and go back to our normal lives, but we are mindful of it. Uh, we will stay on top of this. And we will get the word out via NORCAM and, uh, and the other sources that we use to let you know what's going on if things get canceled or postponed. Um, let's just hope we get through this with uh, as little disruption as possible and, and, and get you know, back to our daily lives and our programs as they're normally scheduled. Um, so, yeah, we haven't forgotten about it. It's hard to forget about it. It's in no. your face every day. It's it an is, important yeah. thing. Uh, you know, it's not that we have thousands of people at an event but uh, you know yeah. but I can uh, you know certainly understand people's concerns mm -hmm. and we haven't forgotten about it yeah. so that's it that's, that's great that's the story no and, and quite a story and I 
I don't know. I love what you're doing. I love uh, the Community Coffee House. It brought such a great communal atmosphere uh, of music and just performance to yep. uh, the library and to the town. That. And I know for a fact that if Daniel and Les, if you were watching, uh, they're very excited for uh, to hear about the new performances, and they'll be very disappointed about the marches, uh, you know, marches Community Coffee House yeah, being. Well, you but do? you know, there's nothing again. And at, at this point, um, you know, I. Yeah, well, it's just great. It's just awesome to have Appreciate a town, it. and we're, we're here for whatever you guys uh, do. So check them out. Uh, contact Art again at his uh, uh, email address. We'll put it right down below. Okay. And our, um, it's in our coffee house uh, at gmail.com, and my phone number is 617-592-4398. Well, Art, thank you again, and thank hopefully uh, we'll have more in 2021. Uh, if I'm around, we'll have them. <laughs> we'll knock on wood for yeah. that. Okay. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Thank you.